With Battlefield 2042's release, we finally can play and get a closer look to Hazard Zone, which should be a kind of Tarkovish mode. And the big question is, how close is it to Escape from Tarkov? Do we get an alternative? How good is the game mode? This is the topic of today's video. 3, 2, 1. Uh, dear comrades, good to see you again on this channel. My name is Ivan, welcome back. And I have to tell you, I'm really, really disappointed about Battlefield's Hazard Zone mode. I like this mode, I really do. But I have to tell you, first of all, enjoy this video. But sad news, it's not even close to escape, to escape from Tarkov. Let's be real. Let's start this video and I will show you the biggest similarity to Escape from Tarkov and that's this one. You have to wait for other players for hours. So very good EA, you copied the most annoying thing from Escape from Tarkov to wait for other players for hours into Hazard Zone. Of course it's hard to make it any different but yeah. That's basically it, let's continue. It's more a different Warzone mode compared to Call of Duty than Escape from Tarkov. It's it's not even close. So let's make a quick summary. In this video I will show you and I will tell you what is the Hazard Zone in relation to Escape from Tarkov. Hazard Zone is a new game mode in Battlefield 2042 and you can play with three other guys, so in a squad of four on a very big map, you can drop in the map, you have to collect some stuff and you have to extract. You have only two options to extract and I will show that as well. And of course you have some PvE enemies. That's basically it. You can pick your operator, you can pick your loadout and you have to pay with certain coins. You have to earn these kind of coins during your Gameplay. So if you play and if you extract or if you do some stuff during this game mode, you get a reward. And with this reward, you can uh, buy some perks and equipment. This is the first thing. In Escape from Tarkov, I'm not, I, I don't say Tarkov is realistic. Don't get me wrong, you have stims and all of that, but Hazard Zone, it feels way too casual. Hazard Zone is not even close to be a hardcore or realistic shooter. Tarkov is not realistic as well, but it's more and very hardcore. Hazard Zone is not hardcore. And that's the biggest thing why Hazard Zone is not even close to Tarkov. The next thing is this whole parachuting stuff and fast gameplay. It's still Battlefield and that's why this can never be close to escape from Tarkov. So you still have parachuting all the time. You can rewive your squad mains, you can bring them back into the game with certain stuff, uplinks in Hazard Zone. You can find these uplinks, you can drop in some vehicles and you can drop in some uh, rangers, which are the mechanic dogs, your assistant, your sentry gun do carrying dogs. So, and all of that makes it feel not to be a Tarkov game at all. On top of that, if you kill somebody, of course you can pick up the loot and the stuff and all of that. And you can, as I say, buy some new kind of weapons with, the, with your earnings. You can modify your weapons previously. But it's not like that you can find attachments. It's not like that you can find high, very high valuable loot. You can just find some data drives, some uplinks and that's it. Let's talk about the extraction methods. You have two methods because you have to extract from this map um, by reaching different extraction points, E1 and E2. And that's it. So you have only two options and two ways to extract. Go to the point, AI will be there. So you have to fight uh, several amounts of PVE enemies, AI control enemies, vehicles and all of that, just like normal normal uh, jeep and light vehicle guns, uh, light vehicle, light vehicles in general. And that's it. So it's for me again, not even close to be an escape from Tarkov. And I do not see an escape from Tarkov element even in this, in this game mode. So again, it's more like a different war zone-ish kind of game than escape from Tarkov. So don't believe in any, yeah, this is like escape from Tarkov thing. No, not even close. Furthermore, you can build up your extract streak, which means you can unlock more perk slots, but that's, again, basically it. And even the data drives are kinda useless or not even worth to focus on that because you get enough points to buy 
your custom guns, which only cost 250 credits and some additional perks, which are also cheap compared to what you get. You get a lot of uh, these rewards and coins for killing some PvE enemies or killing some enemies in general, which is enough. If you extract, you get you get a lot of, of coins as well, so you don't have to focus on these data drives. So again, for me, I like to play this game mode. Right now it's only allowed to play uh, in a four-man squad, so if you don't have any friends or not any friends online, um, you have to play with randoms, which is kind of bad. It's, it's really bad, don't get me wrong. Um, I had only one good experience, it was my first Hazard Zone solo gameplay, but be at least with two friends, better four of course, and try to play this game mode with a squad. If you play this game mode with friends, it's a great game mode by itself. If you look at it by itself, I like it a lot. It's a little bit different, but it's very close to, to Warzone. It's not a battle royale per se, so, but you have like similarities to the last game modes from from uh, Call of Duty Cold War and Modern Warfare. So it's not again it's not Tarkov and don't get or don't 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 think that you are playing a, a kinda Tarkov. It's again not even close. So good game mode by itself. No Tarkov, no hardcore at all and I hope they bring more depth to this game mode because right now it's pretty simple. The coins are kinda useless because because you get too much and all of that again good game mode but yeah kind of disappointing if you think you get a tarkov fish hardcore uh, whatever you make some good xp in my opinion if you have good rounds a lot of kills data drives and all of that you get a lot of xp but it's not a topic the topic is how close is this game mode to tarkov is it alternative and not not even close. Uh, if I would have rated from 1 to 10, how close is it to Tarkov? I would give it a 1 or a 2 because I, I showed you the only common things is that you lose your loadout and you have to wait for other players for hours. So that's the only similarity in my opinion and in the opinion from the most guys from the community or on our Discord server. You are very welcome to join us there, play with us, um, leave your feedback there and of course we Germans want to win at least something. So that's why your like for this video is so important. Don't forget to like this video. And as always, see you in the next one. Stay safe. Bye.